Just in case you guys didn't know, here's what the Buffalo Chip has announced so far. Buck Cherry and Snoop Dogg. Leonard Skinner and Bush. Lita Ford, Rob Zombie. On Tuesday, August 9th, the latest announcement, Papa Roach. Yeah, good job, Woody. Falling in Reverse, Bad Wolves, and Hollywood Undead all on one night. Aaron Lewis, Travis Tritt, Pop Evil, and Puddle of Mud. Those are all <laughs> going to be at the Buffalo Chip and more to be announced. We've got three different rounds for you guys tonight. So we've got the cocktail round, the Americana round, and the bikini round. Of course, I know you're all itching to see that one. We cannot wait. I'm going to ask these ladies a couple of questions about themselves. We're going to get to know them, and then our judges here are going to help us decide what ladies are going to move on to the finals next week or on May 7th. Without further ado, we've got 30 women to go through here, so let's go and get started. Group number one, my first contestant, big round of applause for Jess J. Jess, come on up here. 
All right, Jess, how are you doing tonight? I'm great. How are all of you? How are they're good. Well, at least the front row's good. I always say this to all the ladies, too. By the way, I'm loud. You're probably not. So from the toes, nice and loud so that they can hear you in the back. All right. Jess, where are you from? I am from Sundance, Wyoming. All right. And if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? The bra. The bra? <laughs> Screw the bra. Okay, why no bra? Have you ever worn one? I'm not going to answer that question. All right. Big round of applause for Jess J, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Next up, Lakin L. Lakin L, come on up. All right, Lakin, how are you tonight? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Where are you from? I am from Dickinson, North Dakota. North Dakota, okay. Now, Lakin, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Um, I, I think I put down that men should have babies instead of women. Men should, say that again, what? Men should have babies instead of women. <laughs> men should have the babies instead of women. The, <laughs> the men don't really know what to say about that. Hey, I like it though. Big round of applause for Lakin, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Lakin. Our third contestant for the first round in her cocktail dress is MWM. Come on up here. M.W. I like that. <laughs> All right, M. how are you tonight? I'm doing wonderful. How are you guys? <laughs> good. That one's good. All right, M. Uh, where are you from? Originally from Chicago, but I've been living in the Black Hills for four years now. What's windier, Chicago or Rapid? Um, definitely the Windy City, Chicago. Really? Ugh, that blows. All right. <laughs> M. if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Well, because I work in healthcare, I'm going to go ahead and say the naughty nurse costume. Why would you get rid of the naughty nurse costume? We love that. Well, with our current shortage, I've seen way too many girls walking around, and I'm like, these chicks need to clock in and start taking some patience. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Bigger applause for M. Thank you, M. Nicely done. Our fourth semi-finalist here is Megan J. Megan, come on up. All right, Megan, how are we tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Where are you from? Rapid City, South Dakota. Rapid City, all right. And, M or excuse me, Megan, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Honestly, the cell phone, only because my son is constantly getting in detention, so. Same, yeah. Uninvent the cell phone. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> Big round of applause for Megan. Thank you, Megan. Our fifth semifinalist for the first round in her cocktail dress is Sage. Sage, come on up. All right. Sage, how are you tonight? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? I'm good. Where are you from? Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. All right. And what would you uninvent if you could? A lot of things, but let's go with TikTok because it's so damn addicting. <laughs> Uninvent TikTok. I like it. Big round of applause for Sage, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sage. Next up, our sixth contestant, Laura Z. Laura, come on up. All right, Laura, how are we tonight? I'm good, thank you. And where are you from? Custer, South Dakota. Custer, South Dakota, all right. Now, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? All right, I'm going to say phone just because I miss letters like dear, X, sincerely, come on, like the heart. From the heart, I like that. Big round of applause for Laura. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Next up, Sinead. Sinead M., come on up. One of the few contestants I actually didn't help get up here, so it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You said my name right. I'm impressed. I actually asked about five times, so I just had to make sure. All right, Sinead, how are you tonight? I'm fantastic. Happy it's Saturday. All right. And where are you from? Massachusetts. All the way from Massachusetts. All right. <laughs> we like Massachusetts. Okay. All right. And Sinead, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Probably the plastic bag. The plastic bag? All right. Why? Let's just get rid of all that unnecessary waste. All right. Yeah. Saving the world. Big round of applause for Sinead, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sinead. Next up, Shaylin M. Shaylin, come on up. Here we go. Okay. All right, Shaylin, how are you tonight? 
I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. Where are you from? I'm from here in Spearfish. You're from Spearfish. Excellent. Right here. And if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be? Uh, it would also be the cell phone because it really just doesn't bring anybody closer together, and I don't like them. You don't like cell phones either? All right. I don't blame you. Big round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Shaylin. Boo the cell phone. Next up, Cassidy. Cassidy R., come on up here. All right, Cassidy, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Where are you from? Rapid City. From Rapid City, and if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Hangovers. Hangovers? All right. <laughs> uh, we'll end on a good note. Big round of applause for Cassidy, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Cassidy. Next up, our final semifinalist for the first group, Rebecca P. Rebecca P., come on up. All right, Rebecca, how are you tonight? Fabulous. Fabulous. Tell the people where you're from. I'm from Pierre, South Dakota. Pierre, South Dakota. Dang. Born and raised? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. And if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Panties. No panties. <laughs> Big round of applause for Rebecca, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Rebecca. Out of group two, our first contestant here, Danny S. Danny S., come on up. What? Oh, okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to applaud this first group, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first group here. We're going to make room for them. judges do their thing. That was group one. Again, we got three groups for you tonight. And three rounds. The cocktail dress, the Americana dress, and the bikini outfit. All right. First up on group two, Danny S. Danny S., come on up here. All right, front and center for me, Danny. How are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. And where are you from? Here in Rapid City. Rapid City. Okay. And if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? I think it would be the plastic clamps that you can barely get into. Even the scissors won't even get into it. The plastic packaging that you can't, <laughs> you can't get anything out of? Correct. I love that answer. I get rid of all that plastic packaging. Big round of applause for Danny, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> can't tell you how many times I've cut my fingers trying to open that crap. <laughs> Next up, number two, Marilyn. Marilyn, and come on up here. <laughs> Careful, I know. It's tricky. It's the carpet. All right. Marilyn, how are you tonight? I'm doing fabulous. How are you, Zach? I'm good. Thanks for asking. And where are you from? I'm from Rapid City, South Dakota. Hello. <laughs> Marilyn, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Okay, let me take you back about 10 years ago. Do you remember MySpace when there was no ads? Yes. I would keep the internet, I would keep cell phones, but no ads on Facebook, no ads on Instagram. Let's just make it about our friends and our experiences and let's party. All right, big round of applause for Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Next up, contestant number three for group two, Akisha J. Akisha, come on up. I'm so glad she's there to help you guys up there. <laughs> Akisha, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Amazing. Where are you from? I'm from McLaughlin, South Dakota. McLaughlin, South Dakota. Okay. Akisha, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Parking tickets. Parking tickets. Uninvent them. Get rid of them forever. Okay, why? Because why does my car bother you so bad? I got stuff to do. That's right. Big round of applause for Akeisha, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Akeisha. <laughs> Next up, contestant number four for the group two, Kenzie W. Kenzie W., come on up here. <laughs> all right. Kenzie, how are you tonight? I am wonderful. How are all of you? <laughs> Woo! Kenzie, where are you from? 
Rapid City, South Dakota. All right, and if you could take an invention and get rid of it forever, uninvent it so it never existed, what would it be? Social media. Dumb down our society. Social media dumb down our society for good? Absolutely. I can't disagree with that. All right, big round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Big round of applause for Kenzie, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, Dusty, Dusty Marie. Come on up here. All right, Dusty, front and center here for me. Dusty, how are you tonight? I'm phenomenal. How are you? I am also phenomenal. Where are you from? Sturgis, South Dakota. All right. And if you could take an invention and get rid of it forever, what would it be? The gas chamber. Oh, this is where I ask why, but I don't think, I mean, well, okay, why? I have Jewish family. She has Jewish family. Get rid of the gas chamber. Big round of applause for Dusty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hard to argue that. Right. Number six for group two, Alexis V. Alexis V, come on up. All right, Alexis, how are you tonight? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you for asking. And where are you from? I'm from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Oh, my mom's from there, all right. I did not know that. All right, and let's see here. Alexis, if you could take an invention and get rid of it forever, what would it be and why? Bras, because they're a pain in the ass. All right, technically a pain in the titty. But yes, big round of applause for Alexis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> Erica G. Erica, come on up here. All right, Erica, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. And tell the folks where you're from. Uh, Rapid City. Rapid City. If you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Big Pharma, because natural medicine is the way to go. <laughs> Big round of applause for Erica, ladies and gentlemen. Get rid of Big Pharma forever. I like that. Next up, contestant number eight for group two, Vanessa. Vanessa, come on up. All right, Vanessa, tell the folks how you're doing tonight. I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm good. And where are you from? Uh, Hermosa, South Dakota. Hermosa, South Dakota. If you could take any invention and uninvent it forever, what would it be and why? Uh, spam calls. Spam calls. I like that. Big round of applause for Vanessa Lee's job, but thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> no spam. All right. Next up, Kenzie. Kenzie J, come on up. All right. Kenzie, how are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Good. All right. Tell the folks where you're from. Uh, well, this wonderful state, Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay. Now, if you could take any invention, what would it, uh, and you wanted to uninvent it, what would it be and why? The prison system, because we need healers, not holders. Get rid of the prison system. I love it. Big round of applause for Kenzie, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Kenzie J. And our final contestant for group two, Cassidy? Chastity, I knew it. Ah, I second guessed myself. Chastity, come on up here. Almost had it. All right. Chastity, how are you doing tonight? Wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Tell the folks where you're from. Rapid City, South Dakota. And if you could take any invention and uninvent it, what would it be and why? Auto-tune, because it's false advertisement. Get rid of auto-tune forever. Big round of applause for our final contestant for group number two, Chastity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is group two. Big round of applause. Thank you, group two. And go ahead and exit the stage. We'll make room for group number three. Group three in the cocktail round. First up, Rihanna. Rihanna J, come on up here. All right, Rihanna, how are we tonight? Pretty good, how are you doing? I am also pretty good. Tell the folks where you're from. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, okay. And if you could take any invention and get rid of it forever, what would it be and why? It would be autocorrect because I've never meant to say the word ducking in a text. <laughs> get rid of autocorrect forever. Big round of applause for Rihanna. Thank you, Rihanna. I've ne never meant to say ducking. <laughs> All right, contestant number two, group three, Allison B. Allison B, come on up here. All right, Allison, how are you doing tonight? Doing well, how are you? I'm good. Tell the folks where you're from. 
Rapid City. And if you could take an invention and get rid of it like it never existed, what would it be and why? Taxes, because it's my money. Get rid of taxes forever. Yes. Big round of applause for Allison. Thank you, Allison. That's right. <laughs> Next up, Juliana. Juliana, come on up here. I knew that. All right, cool. I got one. All right, Juliana, tell the folks how you're doing. I'm doing amazing. How are you? I am great. And where are you from? Originally in Southern California. SoCal. Okay. And if you could take an invention and get rid of it forever, what would it be and why? Video games. It takes away from family time. Video games. It does take away from family time. I'm not going to lie. Big round of applause for Juliana, ladies and gentlemen. Juliana. Our fourth contestant for group three, Shan. Shan, come on up here. All right. Shan, how are you tonight? Shan, fantastic. I uh, knew it. I had a feeling. All right. Shan, where are you from? I am from Blackhawk. Blackhawk? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. And if you could take an invention and get rid of it forever, what would it be and why? Warning labels, because I feel like a little natural selection could go a long way. <laughs> I love that. Big round of applause for Shan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's good. No warning labels. Next up, Trish. Trish R. Come on up here. All right. Trish, how are you doing tonight? I am doing fantastic as always. Excellent. Tell the folks where you're from. I am actually from Arizona, but I've lived in the Black Hills for the past seven years. So I live up in Leed at the moment. All right. This is home now. Okay. Trish, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? I would have to save government age restrictions. Yes, government age restrictions. Big round of applause for Trish, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Trish. Contestant number six for group three, Priscilla. Priscilla M., come on up here. Priscilla, how are you tonight? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Let's make sure we, got, we can get you in the camera here. Go ahead and stand right there. There we go. All right. Priscilla, tell the folks where you're from. Born and raised here in Spearfish. Right here in Spearfish, okay. And if you can uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? Tall shelves, because I'm not this tall without heels. <laughs> tall shelves. Everything needs to be down here. Big round of applause for Trish, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Trish. Excuse me, Priscilla. Sorry, Priscilla. There's a lot of women. Okay. <laughs> Next up, contestant number seven for group three, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, come on up here. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, tell the folks how you're doing tonight. I'm excited to be here. How about you, Fireball? I'm also excited to be here. I am, I swear. All right, let's see here. Oh, first of all, where are you from? I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. St. Augustine, Florida, okay. And Elizabeth, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? The automobile. I mean, have you seen gas prices lately? <laughs> the automobile. All right, big round of applause for Elizabeth, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> We're nearing the end here. Group three. Contestant number eight, Miranda. Miranda G, come on up here. <laughs> Miranda's got some, some friends here. All right. Miranda, how are you doing tonight? I'm not too bad. <laughs> Good. And tell the folks where you're from. I'm from Aberdeen, South Dakota. Aberdeen, South Dakota. Is that an accent? Do you have an accent? Uh, I lived a year in Minnesota. Oh, okay. It's, it is Minnesota. <laughs> I thought so. All right. All right, Miranda, and if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? You know, I might get some hate for this because it's kind of nostalgic, but a Furby. You know, like the little animatronic. Uninvent Furbies. I'm all about it. Those things suck. Big round of applause for Miranda, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Those things were nightmares. Contestant number nine, Mariah E. Mariah E., come on up here. All right, Mariah, tell the folks how you're doing tonight. Honestly, I'm nervous as shit. All right. <laughs> and where are you from, Mariah? I'm from Mission, South Dakota. Mission, South Dakota. Tell the folks, if you could take any invention and uninvent it forever, what would it be? The five-day work week. All right. Okay, I like a big round of applause for Mariah, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Mariah. <laughs> and our final contestant for group number three, Alexia. Alexia, come on up. 
She don't need no help. See how tall, man, you're tall. Okay, all right. All right, Alexia, how are you tonight? I'm doing fantastic. How y'all doing? <laughs> woo -woo! Let's go! Alexia, where are you from? Rapid City, South Dakota. All right. Alexia, if you could uninvent any invention, what would it be and why? If I had to uninvent anything, it would be cheesy pickup lines. <laughs> I guess they never work. All right. Not for me. Not for me, at least. <laughs> Big round of applause for our final contestant for Group 3, Alexia. Judges, this is group three. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our final group, group three, as they exit the stage. We're gonna make way here. We're gonna lady, let the ladies get changed into the Americana wear. We'll bring Camp Comfort up here. Thanks again for coming out, hang out, grab some drinks, and let's have some fun. <laughs> 